Whitey's Fish Camp in Clay County quickly reopened after some of their property was flooded from the storm. Luckily, there wasn't any major damage. News for Jack's reporter Marilyn Parker spoke with the owner of the restaurant, who says his business is no stranger to flooding. Around the Tiki Bar. No need to panic. You now can have a new experience at Whitey's Fish Camp. Service at Whitey's won't involve kayaks. This is just how employees got around the Tiki Bar flooded in Thursday's storm. From the outside, water made it to the outside seating area and even pushed into the parking lot, catching managers off guard. Definitely not as prepared as we were for Ian because it was just a tropical storm, but um, all of our docks were submerged. We experienced higher flooding with Nicole than we did Ian, so it almost got to our upper dining deck as well, so we're very surprised. Luckily, the water receded in time to reopen. A relief to customers, employees, and the musicians who've been coming here for years. We grew up with this with this establishment, and uh, we're happy to have it back up and running. We love it. But every time there's a storm, what kind of goes through your mind? Here we go again. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much it. But we, we definitely know that um, we will rebuild. Pictures show the power of the storm. <laughs> Though it caught them off guard. Even if it's a storm, we're going to be prepared. <laughs> <laughs> they say they'll take it more seriously next time. Marilyn Parker, Channel 4, the local station. And residents in the area of Fleming Island tell News for Jax they didn't expect the storm to have such a big impact.